those who have seen a mutant and survived. Remember what Ubix can do. Remember what it can turn us into. Don't let the great danger of the new helix blind you to the danger of the old. It's better to stick. Is everything okay? And then Morcons overran us. I thought we were screwed. You survived. Yeah, by the skin of my sack. You gotta be more careful in the future. Gaia ordered us to drink less. Stay sharp. One second of carelessness. Boom! Dead. Good luck. Huh. Thanks. Whether it's a shot. I'm starting to doubt your character. Stop that nonsense! Do that yet. No, just can't do that yet. No, just can't do that yet.
lot of lockpicks. Is it true the Morcons are bad people, Father? Where did you hear that? Mother says they invaded our camp at the World Heart and killed lots of us. It was really horrible. Why are the Morcons doing this? It's hard to explain. I don't get it. Only bad people would do something like that. Wouldn't they? We'll make sure nothing like that happens again. I know. You always say it's a dangerous world. But people shouldn't do things like that to each other. No, of course not. It was a small group. I'm sure not all Morcons are like that. Hmm. You mean those weren't real Morcons? They were, but... I think they attacked the World Heart because they were bad people. Not because they were Morcons. You're right, Father. It's hard to explain. What are you up to? Mother says I have to wait here until she finishes her work. But she's taking so long. Can't we go somewhere else? It's probably for the best. You're not safe out here. Wait here. I'll take care of it. Yeah, wait, wait. That's all I ever do around here. You have to let Asgard know we're leaving too. Or we might get worried. Jax! Glad you're here. Kaya and the little one were worried. How's my son? Doing pretty well. Considering recent events. But it's it's too much for a boy his age. He shouldn't even be here. Well, his mother wanted him with her. Ah, these last few days have been something else. Turbulent times we live in.
Kaya left you in charge of our child? She did, and I consider it an honor. I know you're both busy. And I see no signs of that changing anytime soon. I'm taking the boy to the Bastion. Kaya and I think it's the best thing for him, given the circumstances. Won't hear me complaining. It means you're responsible for the boy from here on out. The Bastion is in the north, right? The ruins where that Dawkins fella lives? Mm. Seems like everybody but me knows who the old man is and what he's up to. Well, you've clearly been out of town for quite some time. Clearly. I'll head out to the Bastion right away then. Gotta get the place ready. I'll see you there. Watch yourself out there. Come with me. I'll get you out of here. Really? I don't have to wait anymore? I'll take you to the Bastion. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Asker says there's ghosts. Really? That's what he tells you. We'll talk about this later. Okay. I love ghosts. Come on. We've got to go now. This time. I'm not sure I should tell you. Oh, come on. I'll understand. I was unconscious, so I couldn't come see you. Unconscious? Really? Like when all the lights go out and everything? That's right. Wow. Why were you unconscious? If there were these... Uh... Come on. We gotta keep moving. Why won't you tell me what happened to you? I don't want you to worry. Really? I'm the son of the biggest daredevil in the world, and you don't want to worry me? Yeah, well, the less you know, the less you have to worry about. Come on.
ask Mother about what happened to you. She'll tell me. Fine. I guess it's better if I tell you myself. Yeah? You see, we're under attack. Is it the Morcons? No, they're these aliens. And they've come to invade our lands. Oh, I know about that. Mother told me, but they're still far away. Not far enough. I had to fight some and they hurt me. Really? Yeah. They left me behind, but... I haven't been myself in a few days. Oh yeah, I will be. you tell me what happened to you? I don't want you to worry. Really? I'm the son of the biggest daredevil in the world, and you don't want to worry me? Yeah, well, the less you know, the less you have to worry about. Come on. mother about what happened to you. She'll tell me. Fine. I guess it's better if I tell you myself. Yeah? You see, we're under attack. Is it the Morcons? No. They're these aliens. And they've come to invade our lands. Oh, I know about them. Mother told me. But they're still far away. Not far enough. I had to fight some and they hurt me. Really? Yeah. They left me behind, but... Well, I, I haven't been myself for a few days. Cool. Oh yeah, real cool.
Yeah? These invaders, why are they here? What do they want? Well, nobody really knows yet. They haven't told us. But, seeing how things are going, we'll find out soon enough. And I don't think we're gonna like it. But you and Mother will look after everyone, won't you? That's why I have to make sure you're safe first. Then we'll have to find out exactly what we're up against. All right, enough questions. We have to keep moving. Yes, Father. <laughs> I've been thinking, what if the aliens just want to live here in peace with us, and we don't understand them properly? Dax. Yeah, okay, okay.
See so many people joining the cause. Everyone says this whole thing would fall apart without you. You get by. Yeah, maybe. But it's sure gonna be easier with you. Anyway, welcome to the Bastion. Fun. I wish we could spend more time together. Well, you know, I have to... Yeah, I know. You have lots to do. But still, it would be really great if you came to visit sometime. Stick with Asker. He'll look after you while I'm gone. I'm gonna take a look around. Maybe I can find traces of the spirits Asker was talking about. Good to see you, Jax. Have you thought about what you want to do next? No. I'm still deciding what I'm going to do with you first, Dawkins. Ah. So you know. You being this friendly after everything you've done. I don't like it. And I don't trust you. Why didn't you just tell me who you were from the start? I thought it might be confusing, and I knew you had some personal business to deal with first. But now that you're done, we can finally start our work. The Sky Ants have a considerable head start, so we don't have much time.
Why the hell should I get mixed up in any of this? <laughs> you have no other choice, Jax. You won't be able to get rid of that alien infection without my help. And besides, how long is it since you had a good dose of Elix or Mana? You don't have enough strength or magic to fight, and the infection is only making it worse. I'm the only one who can save you. I know more about this kind of disease than anyone else. Okay, I'll play along. But only until I get what I want. Let me start by explaining exactly what's happening to you. The Skyanids that bit you are highly enhanced with a purple substance not unlike our blue Elix. That's why I've taken to calling it Dark Elix. The whole thing is rather confusing, but both our blue Elix and this new purple stuff have a few things in common. They both come from a different world. And they can both cause terrible mutations while also unleashing incredible powers. But this Dark Elix is more like a disease. It's highly infectious, and once it finds a suitable host, it replicates at a rapid rate. You have a lot of explaining to do. You sent a signal into space when you were still the hybrid, and then this strange object appears in the sky. Just what the hell did you do? You have to understand, although I still remember much of my time as the hybrid, many of the machine's thoughts and memories were wiped out. But it appears the hybrid opened a wormhole near Magalan not long before its encounter with you. A what? A wormhole. A phenomenon capable of bridging time and space. And clearly our unwanted visitors used it to get here. Right. And I guess them attacking us now is just pure coincidence. I understand why you're angry. I would be skeptical too, but I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. I ask myself these questions every damn day, believe me. But those memories are gone. The hybrid machine is a thing of the past, and there's nothing I can do about it. We have to look forward, try to figure it all out before the Skyans overwhelm us. Skyans. Did you come up with the name? The alien invaders gave it to themselves. I was able to intercept some of their transmissions which is how I know they're getting ready for the next phase of their invasion. You can understand them? It's not difficult. I've spent many lifetimes in the pursuit of scientific knowledge. And the language of science and mathematical algorithms is universal. The Skyans are no exception. Alright, if you know so much about these Sky Ants, tell me how to stop them. They've come with a huge number of warriors and creatures to take over our planet. Harness it for their own use. Why don't you tell me something I don't know? Their formers are already operational. They're using them to pump Dark Elix into the ground. That makes the areas around these formers extremely dangerous. I wouldn't recommend approaching them without the best equipment possible, and a substantial military force. Get to the point. In the end, that's what it boils down to. Military force and equipment. We need strong allies who will support our cause. If we are to stand a chance against the overwhelming strength of the Sky Ants, the Sixth Power will have to become the greatest human military force in history. That's the best you can come up with? Brute force and military power? That's only the beginning. We have a lot of work ahead of us, Jax. 
First, the Bastion is going to need improvements if it's going to house a growing army. And we can't lose sight of the movements of enemy troops and their Skyanid creatures. If we see them making any significant advances anywhere, we'll have to intervene immediately. And of course, the first thing we need is a suitable faction we can form an alliance with. When are you going to do something about my infection? I'm already working on it. The study of Dark Elix is at the top of my agenda. We still have time. I don't believe you're going to mutate into a Skyanid creature anytime soon. And you have a strong will. If Dark Elix works anything like the blue substance we know, you stand a good chance. Don't fuck with me. I don't want this thing to kill me just because you want to play war. Look, it's going to take time. I need peace and quiet to conduct my research. In the meantime, you need to prepare for the coming battles with the Skyans. Improvements for the Bastion? What kind of improvements exactly? Well, the first thing we need to do is clear the surrounding area of anything dangerous. We can't take the next step with those things hounding us all the time. Is that all? You're the expert in killing things. I'm sure you can handle it. Okay. Let's say I start looking for an ally to join your sixth power. There are so many feuds. All the factions in Magalon are at each other's throats. But the only way we can hope to defeat the Skyans is by building an army stronger than theirs. So speak to the leaders of each faction. Find out who would make the best and strongest ally. Join them, poach their warriors, or, I don't know, capture their commanding officers. I don't care how you do it. Just do whatever it takes to make the Bastion as powerful as it can be. And get moving. The enemy is practically on our doorstep. Why would any faction want to join forces with us? The only way we can stop the Skyans' advance is with an iron will and an army of fearless warriors. But all these factions have been fighting each other as long as they can remember. So the only solution is a new central power. One that has complete autonomy and independence. As soon as the others see that humanity stands a chance against the invaders, they'll join us. It's up to you to recruit them and train them. And find your old strength. You're the only one who can pull them out of their apathy and fear. You must prepare them for the coming war. They'll be fighting to stop the total extinction of humanity. Be their hero. Be their leader. Their last hope of salvation. Beast of Zakor. Don't call me that. It's ancient history. And it isn't true anymore. And yet, people still talk about your fight with the hybrid. About what you did in the war against the Alps. You might be an outsider to them now, but they'll learn to trust you again. You're a fucking hypocrite, you know that? Like you had nothing to do with the hybrid. I'm weak and I'm burnt out. And the machine that controlled me back then doesn't exist anymore. It's your willpower that saved us all from the hybrid. And you still have it, just as strong as it ever was. So go out there. Convince them to fight with us against the Skyans, and do it before it's too late. About the military forces of the other factions. Kaya, the powerful Berserker Mage, is gathering her troops in the borderlands of Tavar, ready to protect the land from potential dangers. The Berserkers were never particularly adept at foreign policy. Okay. 
However, we still can't say which faction would be most effective as an ally. We need to get more information about the other factions. How did you escape the hybrid's machine? When you defeated that pathetic hybrid form, the logical part of the machine was destroyed. And that's when Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins started coming back. Eventually, I managed to open the capsule I was stuck in. But it was a few weeks before I could move properly or use my muscles again. Can't say I'm quite my old self yet. But at least I'm free of the machine's destructive thoughts. And that's good enough for now. Time to check our progress. All right. What do we still need to do? Well, the Bastion still isn't fortified well enough. First of all, we need to eliminate the beasts in the surrounding areas. I'll have to start thinking about who I want as comrades in arms. We still need more information on the other factions. I can either join one of the major factions, or speak to enough important figures to get an idea of their military strength. And let's not forget, there's the small matter of my infection. That's for you to deal with. Good. Then we know it needs to be done. And remember, the sooner you join a faction... Yeah, I know. Things will be harder without the kind of training and equipment I can get from them. That's right. Just don't make me wait too long. The future of the world is at stake.
enough about that. Father, is it true you're going to rebuild the Bastion? Can I come with you? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Oh, come on! I won't go wandering off. I promise. And what if we're attacked by wild animals? You'll take care of me. Come on, please? Okay, but do exactly what I tell you. Yeah, yeah! I'll be as quiet as a mouse and keep my head down. Stay close behind me, okay? Don't get too close to the Formers or their creatures until you've regained enough of your strength. We can't afford to lose you. No one else has your skills, or your ability to get things done. You sure know how to motivate people. Is it always this exciting? What do you mean? Well, Mother didn't usually take me when she went out like this. I... I was saying something... Oh, yes! I always had to stay in the fort. I mean, exciting stuff happens there too, but... Well, I know the fort already, but I've never been out here my whole life. Then you should keep in mind how dangerous it is. Then it's a good thing I brought you.
Have you killed many people? It's been known to happen. Some people just like to make trouble. I know it happens sometimes, but I don't want people to die. I get it, but... Try to stay out of trouble as much as you can from now on, okay? Hmm. Interesting. Why were you always gone? We hardly ever saw you. I had my reasons. Mother always said you'd save the world if you could. Really? She said that. So what have you been doing all this time? Trying to convince the factions to get ready for the big threat that was coming. Cool. I bet they all listened to you, didn't they? Well, kind of. 
I think you better go back now. Aww. Already? Well, alright. I don't want to get in the way. Thanks for bringing me with you, Father. Take care of yourself. Don't worry. I will. I hope you'll come see us now and again. The area around the bastions should be safe enough now. Good. Then it's time to take a look at these walls. They're falling apart. I heard there's a retired master builder living somewhere on the bastion's outskirts. I'm not sure if he was ever responsible for the upkeep of the walls. But maybe he can be persuaded to do it now anyway. It would be a huge step forward. I believe the old builder's name is... Gardok. I'll see what I can do. Good. In the meantime, I'll continue studying your infection. It looks like we're ready to start organizing ourselves. We're both too busy to deal with everything that needs doing. And the more people we have here, the more we'll need a good leader. A commander who can keep all of our fighters under control. We can't let anarchy take root here. Or our little sixth power project? will have failed before it's even begun. I think I found our commander, Warlord Theog down at the World Heart. He'd be perfect for us. I'm just not sure he'll be willing to go along with your great plan. Hey, this is your plan as much as mine. I'd never be able to do it alone. And you know that. I'll let you know as soon as I have anything new to report.
Hey, you, asshole! What are you doing rifling through my stuff? You live here? Do I live here? What do you think? No, I just keep all my stuff here, just for show. So some idiot passing by can take what he likes! Of course I live here, and you better get the hell out. So scram! Why are you still here? The old man said you were a constructor. Which old man? Adam? Yeah, Adam. Yeah, I was a constructor. I was the best damn builder in the fort during the outlaws' time. I was the one who put up most of the palisades and iron shacks back then. But I haven't done that in a long time. So, what do you do here, then? Well, us old bastards need somewhere to go before we croak. Not that I'm planning on dying anytime soon. Thought I'd find some peace and quiet here, and wouldn't be bothered by piss ants like you! Looks like I was wrong. How much for you to get back to work, and get the Bastion up and running? <laughs> you want me to fix up your old ruin? You're not playing with a full deck, are you? The mortar's loose, and don't get me started on the structure. You're lucky the place is still standing. I'd stay away from that place if I were you. Might fall down at any moment. You're gonna do it, or I'll knock out your teeth. I'm not impressed with your bullshit, so don't bother. The only thing that gets me out of bed is a good challenge. Well, the Bastion would be a challenge, that's for sure. Not with that thing up there. The Bastion is too dangerous. Working on that place would be suicide. Relocation isn't an option. What do you want from me? There's some unsavory types on their way here right now. They'll be looking for you, too. Shit. All right. Let me think about it without you hovering over me, okay? Look, you're damn hard-headed. I can see that. Believe me, I know a thing or two about being hard-headed. If I'm gonna take this job as Master Builder, and I'm just saying if, I'm gonna need some better tools. This junk isn't gonna cut it. You want me to get you tools? I can get the job done one way or another, but I definitely need a decent bell hammer. This whole thing? Useless. Where can I find a bell hammer like that? You got a lot of options. The closest I can think of is the equipment works in the Morcon Grotto. You could also check the heavy machine factories in the Northwest, maybe somewhere else. Basically, go anywhere in the old world where the big things were built. You used to run with the outlaws? Yeah, but I'm through with them. When the Berserkers came in and took over the fort, it was the end of an era for me. That's when I knew it was time to disappear. No one's found me and pissed me off out here, so I stay in the ruins. They're my home now. I've got a ton of stuff to do, and I could use some help. Oh yeah? And what's that got to do with me? I'll take whatever you're willing to share with me. Hmm. 
Well, okay, if you insist. Show me some of your skills. Uh, I'm not sure you'll even understand. Show me what you've got. I'm not just giving it away, remember? Show me some of your skills. Uh, I'm not sure you'll even understand. Your time. I'm in no hurry.
Here's the bell hammer you wanted. Damn, I was hoping you wouldn't find one. By the looks of it, well, that's a really good hammer. Good work. Normally, this is where I'd agree to do the work, but... But what? I'm not saying yes, but I'll at least take a look at the bastion for you. In the meantime, find a good limestone pit. Lime... what? Well, the mortar in the walls of the bastion is crumbling and loose, but I already told you that. To get a decent mortar, we're gonna need a specific high percentage limestone. You're bound to find a stone pit somewhere around here. When you find the pit, bring me back some limestone. Then I'll take a closer look at the bastion for you. 